Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we'll see how we can add search view to the recycler view. So I have this project and I have added one recycler view here and I have set up the adapter and all the necessary things like model class and layout for each item and in the main activity I have added some static data into the recycler view. So let me show you how our recycler view looks now. So this is our app. If I scroll it down, you can see the nice animations. In the last video, I have showed you how you can add uh, this kind of animations to the recycler view. In case uh, if you haven't checked that video, link is in the i button. Check it out. So in this video, we're gonna add the search view at the top of this recycler view. So let me minimize this. So now I'm gonna delete some static data. Okay, and we can duplicate this. So yeah, this is our list and in the activity main what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add one search you here so in here i'll add search you so make sure you import the android x search you and we'll set its width as 0 dp and height will be wrap content let's give it id so let's make it search you And then we'll add some properties uh, like we'll provide some margin of 8 dp we'll provide the query hint so query hint will be search here dot 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 and we'll come back here later so first uh, we'll add constraint to it so let's just remove this constraint of recycler view and we'll constrain this horizontal in parent to the top and we'll constrain this here we'll add some margin and yeah that's it so now we're gonna add one uh, drawable file for background of this search view so drawable resource file we'll name it as search view bg Okay, let's make this as a shape inside this I uh, will provide some corners ADP then we'll add the stroke so stroke color let's pick color purple 200 and we'll provide some width of let's say 1dp 1dp looks cool to me and yeah in the activity main We'll add the background search you bg and yeah again we can just uh, increase this width to 2 dp so yeah, now it is visible also we have to add one property to the search view to make our query hint visible so in here i'll write iconified by default we'll make it false and as you can see the search here text and yeah that's it so now i'm gonna close this and i'll move to the main activity i'll create one reference to search view so search view and make sure you import android x dot app compact widget i'll name it as a search view we'll find its id r dot id dot search view and then search view dot clear focus we set this clear focus property because in some device the lower api's version of android if you open this app uh, there will be cursor at the edit text or our search view so we don't want that it it can happen in some device so for that we we write search view dot clear focus it will remove the cursor from the search view and when we click on the search view uh, the cursor will be there so yeah so now we'll write search view dot set on query text listener and we don't need to implement this on query text submit method instead we'll implement this we'll return the true and we'll call one method here which will be filter list and we'll send this new text there so new text click on the right bulb create method inside the main activity and let's just make it text and in here we'll create one list of item we'll name it as a filter list or filtered list 
sorry this will be equals to new array list we'll run our loop our model class item till the item list okay so this item list we have created here and I have initialized it over here then I have added some data in that list so this loop will run uh, till the last item of this item list inside this I uh, will have one check if item dot get item name dot will convert it to the lowercase and then dot contains text dot to lowercase so if this is the case then we'll add that item to our filtered list so item and then semicolon and at the end we'll have some checks if the filtered list is empty we'll dis display the toast so this no data found else we'll send this data to the adapter class so inside the adapter we'll create one method which is public void set filtered list list item filtered list so this dot item list equals to filtered list sign color and we'll notify the adapter that data sent has been changed then we'll come back to the main activity we'll call our adapter item adapter dot set filtered list we'll pass this filtered list and that's it so everything is done now we'll run the app and we'll see it's working or not so as you can see our app has been installed and we'll search something so Let's just search for corn and as you can see we got three result of golden corn pizza as in the list I had like three golden corn pizzas yeah so let me search for seafood pizza and yeah as you can see it is working so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching